This program has been sponsored in part by Play School Puzzles. Perfect for little fingers and big imaginations, Play School Puzzles have been a favorite for generations of preschoolers. This is Winnie the Pooh. Oh, hello. Um, who are you? Why, I'm the narrator. I tell the story. Oh, good. I love stories. Then let's begin. This is Winnie the Pooh. You already said that. And he lives in the Hundred Acre Wood with all his friends. This tiny piglet, Kanga and Little Roo. Rabbit, who's always worrying. Owl, who has something to say about everything. Eeyore, who's always losing his tail. Tipper, <laughs> the bounciest one of all. <laughs> and of course, Christopher Robin, who helps his friends. Together, they've had many adventures. They've even spent time doing just nothing. Each day brings a new adventure. Just yesterday, as Pooh was doing what he likes best, which is... Eating oh, honey. Yes, honey. As I was saying, Pooh found a wonderful new bee tree. Oh, yes. I must tell Christopher Robin to meet me at the new bee tree. I left my honey pot there, and he shall help me get it back. Where is this new bee tree? Right where it always was, I suppose. How will Christopher Robin find it? You need a way to tell him. How shall I do that? Well, today we're going to learn about ways to find things using maps and landmarks. I should like that very much. And then I can find more bee trees. Exactly. And we'll learn rare words to help tell where things are. Like more bee trees? Like more bee trees. We'll even learn what to do if we're ever lost. Can we begin now? We certainly can. Lesson one. Maps, signs, and landmarks. Funny thing how everything looks the same in the mist. He's right, Piglet. It's the very same sand thing. I think so too, Pooh. Well, it's lucky I know the forest so well. Or, or, or we might get lost. But come on, follow me. How do we know where things are? Maps can tell us. They show us which places are near and far. A globe like this one is a map of the whole world. Sometimes signs tell us where things are. My house has a sign that says Sanders, so I know it's mine. Piglet's house has a sign that says Trespassers Will. That was Piglet's grandfather. Yes, and another way we know where things are is by landmarks. Well, what's a landmark? Landmarks are big things that stay in the same place and help us find things. Like the stream. Yes, the stream is a landmark. The water moves, but the stream stays in the same place. Rabbit's house is a landmark. He lives in the root of a tree, and it never moves. Precisely. If you can find Rabbit's house, which is a landmark, you can find things nearby, like the door where you got stuck. So Christopher Robin's house is a landmark. Because if you can find Christopher's house, you can find the swing. The sandy pit is a landmark. Yes, if you can find the sandy pit, you can find it over and over and over again, whether you want to or not. Most houses are landmarks. But not if they move. Let's pause here and talk more about maps, signs, and landmarks. Mm -hmm. Lesson two, where words. There, no. <laughs> Isn't this a clever disguise? What are you supposed to be? I'm a little black rain cloud, of course. <laughs> Silly old fair. Now, would you aim me at the bees, please? <laughs> Careful, Pooh. Hold on tight. Yes. 
four, Kiss. three, Kiss. two, Kiss. one. I'm just a little black rain cloud hovering under the honey tree. And now would you like some where words so you can tell Christopher Robin where your new bee tree is? Oh, yes, please. No, but what is a where word? Where words are words that help us find things. I suppose I shall be needing some of those. Very well. Now, is the bee tree near like Owl was near you? Or far like Rabbit running far away? Near and far are where words. It's not as far as Rabbit, or as near as Owl. It's sort of in between. The same way I was in between Kanga and Rabbit. And then how do you get to the bee tree? Oh, when you get to the bridge, you go to... I think I need more where words. Do you go under the bridge like Christopher Robin went under the umbrella? No, you go over the bridge like Christopher Robin went over the fence. And then you come to the gorse bush. Oh, what do you do when you come to the gorse bush? I don't want to go in the gorse bush again. It was too sticky. So you go around it, like Tigger went around, Rabbit? Oh, yes. Less prickles that way. And after the gorse bush, you can see my thoughtful spot where I sit. How do you sit? Thoughtfully. But where do you sit? Oh, I sit on my thoughtful spot. On? Yes, like Tigger was on me. And Tigger was on Rabbit, and Tigger was on Piglet, and Tigger was on Rabbit again. Precisely. On is a very useful wear word. I suppose it is. And if I sit on my thoughtful spot, I can see the bee tree where my honeypot is. Do you look up to your honeypot like when you climb up very high? Or down like when you fall? Up. Although the down part was fun. <laughs> Until I landed. And now is your honey pot in the tree, like Roo was in Kanga's pouch? Or out, like Roo was out of Kanga's pouch here? It's in the tree, like I was in the mud. And I need to get my honey pot out of the tree, like I got out of the mud. Now we're making progress. The bee tree is over the bridge between near and far. And your honey pot is uh, in the tree? Yes, like Piglet's note was in the bottle. Only the note was easier to see. That's splendid, too. And now you can tell Christopher Robin how to get to the bee tree using your werewolves. <laughs> well, the bee tree's not near, and not nearly far. But if you go over the bridge and around the gorse bush to the thoughtful spot and sit on the thoughtful spot, you can see it. And then you look up to the top of the tree, and there's a hole, and my honey pot is inside. I like rare words. Are there any more? Well, let's pause here and find out. Lesson three. What to do if you are lost. <laughs> get lost, I could get lost too. What would I do? Oh, there are many things you can do if you're lost. You can call for help like Tigger did when he and Roo were stuck. <coughs> Someone may hear you. In fact, sounds help us find our way too. What can you find when you hear bees? Honey! And what can you find if you hear water? The stream. Precisely. Landmarks help us find our way. If we see a landmark we know, we can go toward it and look for the next landmark. Otherwise, we might walk in circles. That's right. Sometimes it's best to sit and wait so someone can find you. It's good to have a friend with you when you can't find your way. I was so glad to have Piglet with me. And the most important thing is to stay calm. Ah! When Rabbit was wandering in the mist, lost and bewildered, his mind started to play tricks on him. If I am lost, I shall stay calm so I can find my way. Good. Let's review. First, how can we tell where things are? Maps, globes, signs and all sorts of landmarks. Splendid. 
And now you know where words as well. Let's see now. Near, far, under, over, in, out, around, up, and down. And you know what to do if you get lost. You should call for help, stay with a buddy, listen for sounds that tell you where you are, look for landmarks, stay calm. Now I shall make believe that I am lost, and then I shall try to be found. I'll take Piglet along for a buddy. Good idea. And don't worry, I'll stay calm. Calm, not asleep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> A poo was found after all, and here he is, back with all his friends for a being found party. Because when we're all together, we can have new adventures every day. And Piglet too.